Alrighty, students, this is our day one of our Forging Freedom book. We'll be doing this for the next couple weeks. So today we'll just do some pre-reading and then you'll read um, and or listen to chapter one. Okay, so the first thing I want to bring your attention to is the book. Um, so I have made it into a Google Slides for you so that you can follow along and read at your own pace while I read. So I will not have the whole book in here yet. I'm just going to do it kind of week by week with the chapters that we'll be getting to because I do not want you reading ahead. Okay, so if you look, I have the two, the um, cover, the title page, um, and then this is kind of the dedication. And then all of the chapters are in here. Okay, and so it actually worked out really nice because I was able to get this um, on iCloud. So um, I will be reading it from my Kindle and then you will be reading it from your PowerPoint. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is open up your Forging Freedom pre-reading form. Okay, and the first thing, this is about the Holocaust and World War II. Okay, so we've already read a few books, okay, Refugee and The War That Saved My Life that discuss these topics. So go ahead and share what you already know about the Holocaust and World War II. Okay, you do have some good background knowledge, so I want you to think about that background knowledge. What do you already know? All right, once you're done with that, the next one, this book takes place in Amsterdam. Okay, and here I have a zoomed in version of Amsterdam, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. So we can kind of see where Amsterdam is located. Okay. Okay. So here's Amsterdam. Okay, getting a, even a bigger version. Okay, we're looking at that red dot right there. That's Amsterdam. All right, so we're right here, right in Minnesota. Okay, and then we have this is Europe. Okay, in Amsterdam, if you look, it's not in Germany, but located right next to Germany. So Amsterdam is a city in the Netherlands. Okay, so the Netherlands is the country. Amsterdam is the city in the Netherlands. And if you look, okay, the Netherlands, this country here, borders Germany. Okay, so that might be important for you to know as you're reading this book. So then go ahead and answer number two, describe where Amsterdam is located. In your own words, where is Amsterdam located? All right, now we're gonna look more specifically at the book and become familiar with how the book is set up. Okay, so title page, we have our dedication page. This kind of shows a picture of Amsterdam and what it might look like. All right, so if we look, okay, so we have a title, Shabbos Helper. This is a chapter title, Amsterdam 1930. We've got a few pictures, which kind of help us understand as readers what they're talking about. Okay, next chapter, Firestorm 1933. Okay, so first chapter, 1930, it takes place in Amsterdam. Then we go 1933, it's titled Firestorm, okay. Got some more pictures. Ooh. Okay, next one, Blitzkrieg, May 10th, 1940. Okay, so we go from 1930, 1933, now we're at 1940. Okay, more pictures. Oh, that kind of shows the map I just showed you. Okay, oh, 1942. 1942, August, so now we have August 1942. Before that, we're in May. Okay, so it seems to be going in order of time. If I'm looking, okay, then autumn or fall of 1942. Okay, so it's going in order of time. Okay, so that's what we call chronological. Okay, so it starts at the beginning of a time period and ends at the latest period. Okay, so that would be chronological order or kind of like a timeline is how this book is set up. So go ahead and answer, how is the book laid out? Cause and effect, prob problem solution, or chronologically, which means in the order of time. Okay, so go ahead and answer that one. All right, and now I'm gonna read the about the author to you. Maybe. Author's note. All right. 
we look up here, we have a picture of Jop Penrat in 1943. All right, author's note. It says, I happened to have the radio on one afternoon when I heard Jop Penrat being interviewed about his wartime activities. Jop and I had already been friends for over 12 years, but for all the holidays, birthdays, and pleasant evenings we had spent together, I had never heard a word about his heroic past. When I called in him the next morning to inquire about his story, he seemed surprised and honored that I would even take interest in it. But I am far from alone in recognizing the significance of his work. In 1974, the Dutch government, so that's their country, um, government awarded him a war pension and in 1981 honored him again with the Virgin King Gruss, the Cross of Resistance. On June 11, 1998, I was happy to be present at an award ceremony for Jop at the Israeli Consulate in New York. The award certificate read by the Consul General stated, this is to certify that in his session, the commissioner of the designation of the righteous, established by Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Heroes and Martyrs Remembrance Authority, on the basis of evidence presented before it, had decided to honor Jap Penrat, who during the Holocaust period in Europe, risked his life to save persecuted Jews. The commission, therefore, has accorded him the medal of the righteous among the nations. His name shall forever in, be forever engraved on the honor wall in the Garden of the Righteous at Yash, Yad Veshem, Jerusalem, on the medal inscribed in ancient proverb, he who saves a si so single human life saves the entire universe. All right, so that's in the author's note, the person who wrote this book talking about Jat Penrat, who this book is about. So go ahead. After listening to that, Okay, what do you think that Jacques Penrod did? All right, go ahead and submit that. When you're done with that, go to your daily doc. You can open up your Forging Freedom book and read it on your own if you would, chapter one. So that's Shabbos Helper. So that slides four, five, and then half of slide six. Or I also have, um, a, I've read it aloud if you would like to watch a video where I read it aloud. So that is up to you. Submit your Google form, read or listen to the chapter, and then you are done for the day. Thanks for listening.